Rural America is a vital national resource. It's the food that sustains hundreds of millions of people across the country and around the world. It's the oil, natural gas, and other energy sources that help fuel the global economy. And it's the renewable energy that powers America's cities and suburbs while preserving the environment. But today, rural America faces a significant challenge. The healthcare system that over 40 million rural Americans depend on is facing unprecedented challenges. In the United States, since 2010, we've seen 119 rural hospitals close, which has a significant impact on access to emergency room care. This is happening primarily because of financial reasons. Unfortunately, right now, just because of lower volumes and lower reimbursements, a lot of these rural hospitals are having a hard time keeping their doors open. Retired CoBank board member Everett Dobrinsky has farmed all his life, and he's experienced the changes affecting rural health care. You know, it's one thing just to go in and get your flu shot or to do a routine physical, but if you need to have some specialized treatment, that oftentimes is not only involves going to the nearest local community that has a clinic or a hospital, but maybe traveling out of state or hundreds and hundreds of miles to get that specialized care. The problem of rural health care access is vast and complex. No one institution can solve it alone. But CoBank, a member of the farm credit system that does business in all 50 states, is committed to doing its part. We have indeed been expanding our activity in the health care space in, in recent years. We're doing that because we have a very broad mission of service to support rural America. And we've been doing it in two forms. Directly, we make loans and other types of investments that are you know, commercial propositions in their own right. But we also have a very expansive corporate social responsibility and charitable contribution program that does a lot in healthcare space. In the past five years, CoBank has made nearly $2.3 million in charitable contributions related to health care. In addition, the bank has provided nearly $23 million in funding to health care organizations through its Community Facilities Program. One of those facilities is North Shore Health, located on Lake Superior. They are the only hospital in Cook County, Minnesota, serving over 3,000 square miles and providing care to more than 5,300 residents. North Shore Health is the primary provider of hospital care, so acute care, emergency room, the nursing home, the ambulance service, and home care for all of Cook County. We provide good basic medical care, but if you need um, some specialty care, if you need um, surgical services, those types of things, you have to travel for at least generally two hours. For some of those treatments, it can be every day, it can be once a week. North Shore Hospital was built back in 1957. In 2015, after nearly 60 years of service to their community, they needed to make critical upgrades to their facility and services. CoBank provided North Shore with a grant, allowing them to do a feasibility study. Part of the, the support that we received from CoBank and the grant that we received allowed us to continue to do the analysis right at the front end to decide whether or not this was truly a viable project and if we should move forward. If we didn't have that at the front end, we wouldn't have, we wouldn't have moved forward. We wouldn't have had the ability to do that. The study determined that the project was essential for Cook County. Next, they needed construction financing to make it happen. And that's where CoBank also then stepped up, along with others, you know, the fact that they were willing to do this as a collaboration with local institutions and others allowed us to do a over $20 million project. We added a drive-through emergency bay so that now when the ambulance comes, instead of backing up to the door, you know, with all the weather, they actually drive through the garage. We were able to improve what we gave to our elders with their private rooms. We were able to add a chemotherapy hood so that we were able to do chemotherapy right here in Grand Marais rather than having to have people travel. With the help that CoBank gave us, we really transformed North Shore Health. Beth Kennedy knows firsthand the importance of having a hospital in the local community. For her, North Shore Hospital was the difference between life and death. The North Shore Hospital is a lifeline for all of us because this is the only place that we can get health care. I was diagnosed with Guillain-Barre syndrome, which is a rare disease, and I needed immediate emergency care because I was in extreme pain and I was paralyzed from waist down. 
life-threatening if I had not had immediate medical care. This hospital has saved my life. It's such an, an important thing, um, not only to me, but to my family, and of course, my, my friends in the community. So this hospital has made that a life-changing difference. While it is important to maintain rural access to critical health care facilities, it's just as important to search out new innovative ideas and technologies that can address health care needs when immediate access isn't available. One solution that has shown true potential is telehealth. Telehealth brings health care to rural America through the internet. I think telehealth is an important tool and opportunity for rural America as we move ahead. Telehealth allows us the opportunity to bring specialists into the community that simply would not be able to sustain without that tool. It's going to make the difference, it's going to drive the change that we're going to need to see. Um, it just simply has to happen. CoBank is currently funding a number of telehealth pilot programs across the country, addressing everything from heart health to stroke prevention. One of these programs is already making a difference for diabetes patients in Fort Valley, Georgia. Diabetes is a big burden on our community um, in terms of the disease process itself. Um, I tell my patients diabetes is like having homework every day. You know, you have to check your blood sugars, you have to be savvy at reading nutrition labels and paying attention to what you eat. You need to get some exercise in. So there's some things you need to do on a daily basis to tackle diabetes, um, and that's just to stay on top of it. Connect well. A CoBank-sponsored pilot program provided 100 diabetic patients with an internet platform to manage and monitor their diabetes from home and connect with their personal physicians. The goal was to see if we can use technology in such a way um, to improve their quality of life. Frankie Dudley was a participant in the program and suffered from a wide range of health problems directly connected to his diabetes. Diabetes over the years now has affected my kidneys. Uh, my eyes are blurry now. I have an enlarged heart because of that. So I have, I have several issues. This program, it, it makes you more aware. You have a goal you have to hit. So you, you've got to lose weight. You want to be more active. You want to take your meds, take them on time. Anything that comes up out of whack, you know, you have someone you can talk to. Well, I didn't have that before, so now I do. The ConnectWell pilot program was very successful in lowering the A1C blood sugar levels in the participant group. In fact, it actually proved more effective than doctor visits for managing the disease and collecting medical data. We wanted to just make sure that technology had a place in caring for these patients in the rural area. But to our surprise, we got more than just the benefit of utilizing technology. We actually proved that we could get clinical benefit and to some degree a financial benefit. CoBank provided the ConnectWell pilot program with more than $200,000 in funding to highlight the value of telehealth to rural America. If it wasn't for CoBank, we wouldn't be having this conversation to begin with. They were very good and uh, diligent about deploying these funds in order to help start a pilot program that would benefit patients in this population. Georgia Representative Sanford Bishop Jr. feels that telehealth technology from the ConnectWell pilot program can be a game changer for rural health care nationwide. So many people live in rural America, and to be able to develop uh, a model uh, that can be replicated uh, means that we can expand the success that we have here to many other places across the country, which ultimately increases the quality of life and the uh, health outcomes uh, for people all across America. And that is certainly a, a great thing to do, uh, and it will make for a much uh, happier and healthier population. Another healthcare issue facing rural America is opioid abuse and addiction. Opioid addiction has been in the national headlines for years now. And while this problem isn't unique to rural America, a lack of specialized care has created a disproportionately high impact on rural communities. In 2019, CoBank partnered with the University of Colorado Center for Prescription Drug Abuse Prevention to help address this issue. We use more opioids in the United States than anywhere in the, in the civilized world. About 80% of all the opioids that are prescribed and consumed are prescribed and consumed here in the U.S. 98% of all the oxycodone in the world is prescribed and used in the United States. 
Yeah, it's really a, it's a, an interesting issue, but rural America is disproportionately affected by the opioid crisis. And so we're working very hard to educate doctors in rural areas to provide better pain management. And then if they're not able to do complex cases, have telemedicine and be able to get consults. Dr. Eli Walker is a rural emergency room doctor at Rio Grande Hospital in Colorado's San Luis Valley. Like many rural physicians, Dr. Walker is witnessing the impact of the opioid epidemic firsthand. Opioids are a huge issue in the valley. It affects our ability to um, keep people employed. It makes them where they can't participate in their family, they can't maintain a job. It results in death. Um, and so it's, it's a big impact in, in our community. The mission of the University of Colorado Center for Prescription Drug Abuse is to reduce the misuse and abuse of prescription drugs, especially opioids. CoBank's $500,000 contribution is supporting the creation of educational materials and programs specifically designed for physicians and other medical providers. The single biggest contribution to our provider education work has come from CoBank. And that's allowing us to move out from urban areas like Denver and the Front Range to all parts of Colorado and deliver programs to rural areas that are relevant to their needs, relevant to the populations they serve, and the things that the doctors can, can actually use. We need to have unique uh, interventions here that have been proven to work and roll that out to other areas that are similar and have similar populations and similar needs. Although the center's educational programs are being piloted in Colorado, the hope is to create replicable programs to lessen the misuse and abuse of opioids with the potential for measurable positive impact in rural communities across the United States. We've had really good success already in piloting things in rural Colorado. Now we're getting calls from all over the place, from Iowa, from Oregon, from downstate Illinois. People are calling us saying, can you bring that to us? Now it's time for us to put our foot on the gas and do it. CoBank recognizes the healthcare challenges that rural communities are facing today. And we are committed to supporting valuable healthcare programs that can be replicated all across rural America to make a real difference in the lives of our rural customers. Well, the challenges of uh, good, affordable healthcare in rural America are very substantial, just like the challenges of healthcare for the country as a whole. We know that the amount of dollars we have and the amount of organizational capacity we have isn't gonna do all of that, right? We think, however, that if we are careful in what we select to do and if we do a really good job of it and we pick the right partners in the right situations, we can not only do good projects or make good investments on a standalone basis, we can have a substantial demonstration effect and prove to other people what can be done, what does work, what is successful as a result of that can be replicated and scaled not just by us but by other people in other places all around the country. Working alongside our partners, CoBank is committed to supporting programs and facilities that can truly improve the quality and availability of healthcare in our nation's rural communities. We see this effort as an essential part of our ongoing mission of service to rural America.